Welcome back to my channel. My name is Taylor Two Wavy, and this is another episode of Dead or Alive, a series where we have different creatives come on and basically say three people they want to meet, dead or alive, and why. So today we have. <sighs> Am I in the shot? You are. <laughs> <laughs> this whole time I was thinking it's zoomed in on you. This is so <laughs> but now that I'm thinking about it, of course, it's both of us are in this shot. This entire episode my face looked gonna... very dumb while you were saying that because <laughs> I thought I wasn't. If you can just crop to you, <laughs> that'd be no, great. Because I thought it... it was like, and now we have, and then like it comes to me. But do your thing. All right, this guy's a Grammy nominated producer and has probably produced for some of your favorite artists from <laughs> Atlanta and beyond. Um, hmm. He writes, I would say he has many hats in the music industry, shoot, right I try now. To, I try to be as versatile as possible. Um, shoot, in terms of my <laughs> career in the music industry, has helped me dramatically and is where I basically got my, <laughs> my start <laughs> in uh, the music industry. So anyways, <laughs> Sensei Bueno, everybody. Thank you. Hi, guys. How are you today? I'm doing all right. I'm doing all right. Um, it's a Sunday. It's a slow day. It's rainy. We're in the hood. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> this, this is but terrible. everything is lovely. Everything is lovely. Yeah. So uh, can you tell the people about some of the stuff you're working on right now? Ooh, let's see. I feel like you can't disclose anything. There are them. some things that I can't really disclose. And it's not because I'm trying to be cool. It's literally, they were just like, don't talk about this. Um, so I guess, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I'm writing a lot, uh, doing a lot of production, working on a show, kind of similar to this, but it's an interview show, um, and then uh, a little performance series. I'm excited. Uh, working title, The Bueno Night Show, but we, might, we might challenge that. Yeah, at one point it was uh, a lot. If, you, if you're from Atlanta and uh, wasn't popping and was looking <laughs> for something to do on a Friday night <laughs> You might have stumbled on my show, <laughs> the Bueno Night Show, where we featured some local artists um, doing some live sets, and it was fun. Oh, that's good. Yeah, back in the day. You were with me all this time. Taylor's the day one. Her man's is actually my day one. No homo, but... <laughs> <laughs> Please, since... All homo. Um, <laughs> he likes to take credit for introducing... It is true. Let's no, go. Didn't. I'm glad you mentioned this. Oh, my Because we're God. on camera. <laughs> We can just do a fast cut to here. Uh, her man's is actually one of my day ones, and I actually introduced them one day because they kind of was in each other's spaces. Why else? Because of me. And I was like, okay, I well, see y'all kind of feeling each other. And she texted me, it was like, oh, man's kind of cute. And I said, he got a stutter, but I could put you on. <laughs> and so that's kind of how it led to the next the next conversation and meet each other and they worked out for each other so it's cool that's not a true story it but is. you know what we can go with what he said about the other one all right well i know you didn't plan for this but yes i think well no i think i know that i know one of the people that you would meet. that's that true it's like. almost unfair though i feel like i should go deeper okay but yes you know the answer the honorable mention is prince um de okay. definitely i mean he's that's honorable because it's it's always going to be first place uh i feel like He's the reason I started all this shit. When I was little, uh, it must have been weird for my parents to hear me yell out, I want to be Prince when I grow up. But I've somehow kept um, kept this goal up. I'm a little taller than him, and I'm not as talented. But I'm working out some things to where I can just, I don't know. There's those people that you have who keep you moving forward, and their career motivates you. When you, especially when you learn, like read about them, because, you know, when you're little, you don't know about these people you just kind of know that they're all over the place and, yeah. and so for me as i'm getting older i'm reading more about them and just like the amount of things and how much hard work you put into things and uh beyond talent but just like the hard work and like finishing things that's very important to me so that's always going to be the uh the role model so to speak the unattainable role model oh yes wow. That was your honorable mention. Yeah, so, so I guess we'll go to the, the real three. Da, da, da. Ooh, let's go. Three people dead or alive. Boom, let's go. Bruce oh. Lee. Bam. Why the... F that was good. I can curse. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Um, I think Bruce Lee's a very smart dude. Um, I think, again, I have this thing for people who are very disciplined and are... Uh, on top of their game at whatever it is that they do so um 
he's just an idol for me. I really started reading more about him when I was younger. Sin alone, my martial arts, martial arts has always been in my family for a while. So um, my dad's a sensei. My sensei uncles boy. do MMA and just that's our world for a long time. So um, it was a big part of my life coming up and then me watching these fun movies with Bruce Lee and being like, who's that cool dude kicking shit? Um, let's see. <laughs> no, so anybody who's disciplined, I'm very inspired by. I'm like, that's a, the person that I um, want to follow in their foot. Anybody who can lock themselves in a room and uh, just uh, make crazy art and then come out a, a much better person is awesome. Aww. Yeah. And uh, speaking of locking people in rooms, I'll go to my second person. Kevin Parker. Oh, yes. The the Tame Impala. You could say the lead singer, the but he is the person who does all that. Yeah, um, but he's he a marvelous producer and writer. Um, very inspired by all their sonics. Uh, and again, just another dude is really good at what he does. Um, Incredible. And so I'm I would I would love to just learn some things. He's got some some fun little secrets. Plus, I love synths. So he's like one of the goats when it comes synths? to synths, synthesizers. Synths. Uh, when it okay, comes to synth it. sounds. Okay, that was a good one. I mm -hmm. love that one. That was in the cut, kind of. If you didn't know, basically, Tame Paula is Kevin Park. That's true. He is the man. He just hires them to play. I didn't even know that until. When and then speaking of synthesizers, <laughs> Stevie Wonder is the third person. That I would like to see me. That I would like to see. <laughs> <laughs> That's so rude because I'd have the utmost respect for him for sure. Stevie, if you're watching this or if you're listening to this, oh my God. I definitely want to meet you. No, <laughs> to leave. cut this. Wait. <laughs> I want to meet Stevie Wonder. Um, he's. If there's anybody who can touch in the conversation for me about like being better than Prince. I'll let Stevie Wonder sit in that space. Like, it depends on what day of the week it is for me to think, like, oh, Stevie is better than Brands. Some days, that doesn't happen all the time, but some I go back and forth. I honor them both, and I, we shouldn't be competing people against each other, but uh, Stevie's the GOAT. Stevie literally is the GOAT. I can't imagine um, being, like, a drummer or something at Motown and seeing this little 12-year-old kid come in there, blind, and then, like... He's like, oh, can I play on the drums? And then he takes your job. I can't, like, I just, that's so weird to me. Like, coming in there and just kicking ass, writing every song for everybody. Uh, yeah, he's probably the GOAT. He's the GOAT. Okay. I'll go that way. All right. Well, those are good. Those I are okay. Yeah, they're all musical, so it's kind of boring. Oh, oh except Bruce said, Lee. Yeah, come on. He's got an album. He's, does he? No. <laughs> thank you for watching, and thank you so much, Bueno, for coming on and telling us three people that Thank you want to meet dead of course. or alive um, you have anything to say before we oh uh, no be better people out there we need you you can do this that's my zoom. that's my oh focus my God. <laughs> we need you you can do this save the world it's going to why are you smiling like that because it's positive it's oh negative and positive at the same time I think you're scaring people but that's I know alright y'all <laughs> thank you so much for watching if you Look, this. I'll do my interview like Bo. <laughs> my name's Taylor. <laughs> Maybe. Most important thing I have to say. I wore this hat specifically. I don't always wear bucket hats, even though I have every single time we've recorded this. But I wore this hat because it is the logo. Of yeah. It is a working logo. It's one of the prototypes. But I only yeah. made like three of them, so. You know, one of three. Only the OGs get it. Without even requested. <laughs> All right, y'all. Thank you so much for watching. My name is Taylor T. Wavy. And I'm Sensei Bueno. And this is Dead or Alive. <laughs> like it or not. <laughs> oh, my God. Okay. Happy or sad. Rain or snow. <laughs> but this is a nice studio. Please so. don't jump. All right, guys. I don't know what's wrong with Bueno, but please uh, subscribe <laughs> and like this video if you enjoyed it. Comment some other artists you want to see on here. Um, okay, I'm out now. Bye.